Friends, if you want to know how to calibrate any device with heart communicator, so watch today's video carefully. We will understand calibration. Step by step. The first step is Connect the heart communicator to the device being calibrated. Here you can easily do the calibration of these instruments. Using heart communicator. For this, you will need appropriate cables and connectors. Whatever instrument you are calibrating. Accordingly, you will take cables and connectors. For example, you will need a separate cable to supply power to the transmitter. Similarly, separate cable will be required for the flow meter. After taking cables and connectors, moving on to the next step. In this step, you have to switch on heart communicator. And, go to the calibration menu. In some heart communicators, instead of the calibration menu, device setup is given. Now let's see the next step. In this step, you will enter device information such as model number, range, and units, to fill in this information. You will need the instrument's manual or specification sheet. Friends, if you have already filled these details, by connecting the instrument to the heart communicator, then you can also change them. Let's see the next step. After adding the device information, now we will configure the calibration parameters such as input and output values and calibration points. In configuration, engineering unit of instrument or device is set. Output type is set such as 4 to 20 mA, 0 to 20 mA, 0 to 5 volts, 1 to 5 volts. Number of calibration points depend on the device being calibrated with heart communicator and depend on which level of accuracy is required. In the next step, the device or instrument to be calibrated. The calibration signal is applied to that device. In this, by giving specific inputs, the outputs are observed. For example, suppose you are calibrating a temperature transmitter. Then by applying different inputs, you will observe the outputs. Suppose, the range of transmitter is 0 to 600 degrees Celsius. At different temperatures, we will check what will be its output. Like at 300 degrees Celsius, the output should be 12 mA. At 600 degrees Celsius, the output should be 20 mA. Similarly, pressure transmitters, level transmitters, or any other instruments are checked by providing different inputs. And, outputs are observed. Now let's see next step. In this step, you need to record the calibration data, such as, input and output values, and, if any adjustment is done. That will also be recorded. Now move on, the next step is to verify the calibration and, for this, the calibrated values are to be compared with the known standard or reference. It means that the device whose calibration is done, calibrated values and the specification sheet values are matched or not. It has to be verified. Now let's see what to do in the next step. If calibrated value and the reference value are mismatched, then adjust the calibrated values. In the last step, the calibration process is repeated so that device will remain within the required calibration tolerance means the required calibration values remain close to the calibrated values so friends, this was the complete procedure to calibrate any device from heart communicator. Hope, you like this video. So, like and comment openly. Thanks for watching.